Hey Virgos, welcome to your August 2019 general reading. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon and Rising, check the link in my description, okay? You can put in your birthday, your time of uh, birth, and you'll get that info. So in case the messages don't resonate here, definitely go check out those videos to get further clarity, all right, Virgos? So also, if you're new to my channel, I always encourage the Virgos and everyone else to comment their birthday down below, represent for Virgo gang, and let's get into it, all right? So I'm going to do a different type of reading or a different style. It's going to be more of like a freestyle reading because I want to get as many messages as I can and have a broader view rather than just doing a traditional spread. So this is going to be, first of all, looking at the general energy around Virgos, the collective of Virgos, all right? So what is the current energy around Virgos? And this could be the energy that you're going through now in the past. Time is very fluid, but what's the current energy that Virgos are facing during the month of August? The Tower card. Okay. Also, I'm not going to be reading reversals for this one. And you'll see why. We're going to put out enough cards to get all the clarity we need. The Tower card. All right, shocking changes. Shocking things are happening. Could be shocking, unexpected endings as well. Hmm. But then you've got a very positive card coming out after it, which is the chariot. Some of you could be dealing with a uh, cancer, a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. This could be talking about a surprise visit as well, or um, a shakeup that involves movement, distance, travel. Is what I'm getting here. Many of you could be experiencing car trouble, okay? Have to put that out there. Um, you guys are having issues with travel or um, your commute or how you travel. So be mindful of that in the month of August. Some of you guys are having issues with travel or delay with travel or, or car issues. All right, but for those of you who don't have those issues going on, there's some sort of shock. Shock of an arrival. What else can you tell me? This is major energy here for you, Virgos, in the month of August. Okay, there is something coming in, news. Something I feel like you guys have been expecting in a way. All right, this is something very, it may shock the people around you, but for some reason I feel like Virgo's been, been masterminding something. <laughs> What's new, right? Virgo has been like masterminding some sort of plan and they've been waiting for all the pieces to come, to come together. And it's like once the puzzle is finally completed, you know, Virgo's like, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I was expecting that. Now let's let's get on my way. While others are like, whoa, what the hell just happened? Like, we had no idea you were you were working on this. So there's some sort of like secret plan or work that's been done, seeds that have been planted that are now starting to come to the surface. And some people will be very shocked by it. Others will feel like this is great. And we'll be on board with you, <laughs> depending on what it is. But I feel as if you will be getting some sort of news, results, answers. Could be in the form of money. Um, but there is some sort of plan here. And also could involve some type of relocation as well, or travel. Long distance travel. Alright. Also, someone could be coming to visit you. That's what I'm getting here in the month of August. What else can you tell me for Virgos in the month of August? This person that's coming to visit you, they're going to make a big splash in your life for sure. They are a big presence here with that Tower card. I feel like they may bring some type of drama as well. Knight of Pentacles, again, another card of these Pentacles coming your way. Travel, movement. I do feel like it's travel over land. So someone could be driving a long-distance road trip or something like that. So now that you have the collateral you need or what it is that you need here with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like Virgo is moving forward now. Successfully, Virgo is moving forward. It's almost an energy of tearing down what wasn't working in the past, having a new plan or idea almost like taking inventory of like the money you've saved and what you have and and what you've worked for and now you are setting out onto some type of journey where you're moving this forward what 
else is going on here? What is what is Virgo cooking up? Have the Eight of Swords that came out. Let's get another card here. And death. Wow. Virgos, what do you guys have going on here? This is some major energy, major endings. Hmm. Shocking endings as well. Shocking, permanent endings, change, evolution happening here for you in the month of August. All of these words. Many of you could be dealing with a cancer. Again, you have Scorpio all over your reading. I feel like the earth sign is representing you, this earth energy. There's a little bit of air. But I feel like you were trapped. No longer are you trapped in a situation. You want to move forward. There was a situation that you was moving slow. It wasn't really getting you where you needed to be. It got monotonous is what I'm getting here. You felt trapped. There's an end to that. Because now you have the chariot here, which is all about quick movement, moving forward, speed, travel. No longer being stagnant. So for a lot of you, you guys were waiting on money. Waiting on money to bring an end to a situation or to move forward or to move on. That's the energy that's surrounding you right now, Virgos. Very interesting. Very deep energy. August is going to be a... A month of big change, unexpected change. Like a lot of people are going to be shocked by the changes that are happening this month for you. What's coming towards Virgo? What is coming towards Virgo? What is coming towards them in the month of August? What is coming towards Virgo? Seven of Wands. A lot of energy coming up your way, but you are having the advantage, or you have the advantage, the advantage point. The hanged man. I feel like you guys are going to be very defensive or having to defend yourself. The hair fin came out. This is also representing Taurus energy. So if you are dealing with an earth sign, it could strongly be a Taurus. Knight of Wands is here as well. Fire energy. Virgos, you guys are using this Leo season to really boost your confidence in a way. I feel like you guys are standing up to people. You've been enlightened. You've been thinking for such a long time. I feel like you've been contemplating what it is that you're going to do this month. And it's like... Uh, you're giving me Scorpio vibes all over. No wonder it's all over your reading because it's it's so hard to decode. It's like you guys have been working on something so secretively that it's hard for me to even pick up on what what the plan is here. But you've been masterminding something. <laughs> you are masterminding something. I feel like I get the word escape. It doesn't have to be literal. But you're masterminding something. And I feel like you've, you've seeked counsel. So for some of you, this could be talking about a divorce, right? You seek some sort of counsel or some sort of higher being to help you and to give you more knowledge. And you've been waiting for the right moment, waiting for your moment to strike here and for you to set off. What else is coming towards Virgo? People are going to ask you a lot of questions and wonder what what you're doing, why are you doing this? Six of Cups here. This could represent your family. People are going to wonder, why are you making such abrupt changes in your life right now? It's almost like, imagine you're telling your family, hey, guess what, guys? I'm moving halfway across the world. I've been thinking about it for a long time, and this is what I'm going to do. And by the way, I'm leaving tomorrow. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here from you, Virgos. And it's like, your family's like, what the heck are you talking about? And you're like, no, no, I've been thinking about this for a really long time. Like, I've decided, and I'm putting this into action. I've got 
some sort of money that's come in, you know, and, and now I'm ready to go. That's the kind of action, like the kind of energy I'm getting. It doesn't have to be literal, but it's almost something like that where it's going to be a shock to the people around you, but you've always known that this is what you were going to do. Very interesting, Virgos. This is a this is an interesting read. It's not as clear as many of the other ones, but it's interesting. I'll tell you that. Ten of Cups. You guys are pursuing happiness, like a genuine kind of happiness. You haven't felt genuinely happy in a while. And I'm talking about like that, you know, when you were a kid, happy, when you didn't have a care in the world type of happiness. I feel like you haven't felt that in a long time. And you're in pursuit of it. In pursuit of that kind of happiness. What else can you tell me about this Ten of Cups? This could also talk about leaving again, leaving a family behind, leaving children behind. Leaving that kind of situation, strength card, leaving a Leo behind. But this Leo energy, it's, it's, see, Leo is the type of energy where it's, Leo feels as if they're royalty. And I love Leos. That's no shade to Leo. But Leos always feel as if they deserve the best. They want it all, right? And they feel as if they deserve it. And that Leo, it's because it is Leo season, I feel like it's causing a lot of people to feel like, Am I living to my biggest potential? Am I truly happy? Is this all I could have? Or can I go for my Ten of Cups? Can I get what it is that I want? Can I be satisfied with Six Cups only? And be stuck. This is almost like a moment in time, being frozen in time, where you feel as if you're in a situation that's not progressing. It's not growing. It's just like frozen in time. Could also represent a little bit of immaturity. But you want the whole thing. You want the Ten of Cups. You're not satisfied with being stuck at the Six. So Leo season is really bringing that air of, I'm the king, I want it all, I can have it all. I'm waiting for the right moment and I'm gonna go for it all. Type of energy is what I'm getting from you. Okay, Virgos, that is very interesting. All right, let's do some advice and then we'll pull a couple of cards for love, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a love and finance reading over at Vimeo. If you're interested in purchasing that, there's a link down in my description. There we'll look into your energy, we'll look into your partner's energy, and we'll also look into the energy of the union. So those videos will be available down in my description if you're interested, okay? Also, if you want to do a private reading with me, there's a link to my website down in the description as well. Click on that and I will get back to you to get your info. What is the advice? What is the advice? Eight of uh, Pentacles came out right away. You're working on something. You are scheming. <laughs> yep, again. The chariot. For some of you, a cancer is significant. You're working on a plan. You're fixing your, your car. You're fixing your, your method of transportation. You're working on movement. You're putting some action into plan. I'm um, some, <laughs> some plan into action is what I'm saying. Okay, I'm back. All right, so yeah, you guys continue on this plan that you're working on. It looks like it's going to be very successful for you. And I feel like it involves long distance travel. Lots of pentacles too. You've been plotting this out for a while. Maybe a few close friends of yours maybe know what your plans are here, but everyone does not. And you're working on like some collaboration. You could be working to move with like friends. Maybe they're thinking of starting a business and you want to go move out to where they are. Something like that. Keep those plans going. Don't worry about what other people say. This is your life, right? Don't worry about the past trying to hold you back. I feel as if you feel like the people around you are kind of like stunting your growth in a way where you want to elevate past this stage and the people around you don't want to grow with you. So you outgrow them and then they are shocked when you've progressed and moved on and they're still at the same place that they are. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. One more card and then we're going to pull for some love. Ace of Wands. 
new beginning, new start, go for it. Take this new direction. Take this leap of faith. Take all of this, um, all of these plans you've been working on and put them into motion this month of August. And then it'll be your birthday season, all right? So let's pull a couple of cards for love. We're going to use the Romance Angels, all right? And um, like I said, if you want to see a more detailed version of this reading for love, the link is in my description. But this will just be general messages for you for the month of August. So what do you see in Virgo's love life in the month of August? Give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership. I feel like a lot of you have been doing that. You've been trying to work on your partnership. Mm -hmm. But there has been some deception. And someone is wearing a false mask in the relationship. So that, can, that doesn't necessarily mean someone is being deceptive. Though I feel like it, it may be you, Virgo. And when I say deception, it doesn't have to mean cheating. But someone is not being fully um, honest or opening like... There's no full disclosure here in this relationship. It's like, I'm wearing a mask, you're wearing a mask. Yeah, I'm happy, but on the outs in the inside, I'm not happy. That kind of energy where, you know, you're kind of plotting your escape. They could be doing this to you as well. I feel like you try to give the relationship a chance, but it's, it's, it's half-hearted, whether on your side or your partner's side. What did I tell you? This was like the running theme in your reading, wanting freedom. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Absolutely, Virgos. Virgos, if you feel like someone has been keeping you stagnant and not allowing you to grow or whatever the case may be, especially in love, you need to free yourself from that energy. You really do. There's a lot of potential out there for you, and you feel it. You feel as if you're being like... You know, you did have the hermit card here. That's so funny. Well, you have the hang man. And to me, that's talking about also being like stuck in a way, needing to free yourself. What are the messages you see for Virgo in their love life? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. If you're with someone right now that you assume to be your soulmate, they may not be. It says to keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from what you think it actually is. Mm. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay. Someone could soon be an ex here. Free yourself and release the ex. Stop the deception here if this is you. Or the person you're dealing with. Someone needs to stop the deception. Ah, and then lastly, separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. So yeah, if you're in a current relationship, I feel as if that is going to come to an end here. This person could be an ex. It doesn't mean you're in an active relationship with them. Maybe you need to release them and free yourself from this ex from the, the feelings of, you know, betrayal. It's been hard for some of you because you think they're your soulmate, but they may not be. You've been wanting to give this relationship a chance, but it's just not growing or working. There is separation happening. I do see that strongly here for you guys, okay? So we're going to do or continue this love reading over at Vimeo if you want to purchase that. Um, if not, I still love you, Virgos, and I hope you have a great August, and I can't wait to see you in the next video for September when it's your season, all right? So take care, Virgos. Bye.